Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Getting Out of Bed with Micah. Today is the day. Um, I told y'all I would um, kind of show you more of my routine in the morning of what I actually do. Um, and so I'm doing that today. Um, I got up at 5. Um, well, I got up, like, I didn't snooze. Um, you know, I laid in bed for like 5 minutes or whatever. Um, so, you know, that's the deal. Um, I'm all bundled up, as you can see, you know because um, it's really cold outside, um, but my walking in the morning is a very important part to me of my daily routine, so I'm going to do it anyway. I've got two pairs of pajama pants on, I've got a hoodie, I've got a coat, um, I think we'll be okay, I think we'll survive, um, but yes, so I would take you along with me on my walk and show you part of that, but it's pitch black outside, can't see anything, so it's really pointless, um, so yeah, I'm going to go roll on and do that now. All right, I've returned from my walk. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep this up through the winter, um, cause it's really cold out there. Um, and like, and like all of this, like, you know, it protects me like really, really well. Like I don't feel much, but like when it starts to get windy and stuff in my face, um, you know, it's just not super, well, it's, it is super chill. <laughs> anyway, um, but yes, now I must um, unbundle so I don't burn to death in my house. There we go. Um, so next on my list for to the, for the, for the routine is, um, I'm going to go make coffee. Um, sometimes I don't drink coffee in the morning, um, like part of my routine. Sometimes I do, but I always make it, um, that way when me and Salas are getting ready for work, we have coffee for that because I do take coffee to work regardless. Um, and even if I don't, I know Salas will want to and he will get up too late to make it himself. So I make the coffee regardless. Um, I would take you with me into the kitchen, um, but he is still asleep and so I'm trying to be as quiet as possible um, when I'm doing the things. So I will not be taking you with me. Um, after I make the coffee, I will be... Um, editing and posting um, the daily video that I recorded yesterday, it's going up today, and then I'll be back. All right, so I've made coffee, I've edited, um, but I'm not posting it yet because I realized that usually what I do is during my next part of my routine, the video is uploading, um, and I want to be taking you with me, so I'm going to upload later um, when there's kind of a lull. Um, I have something scheduled later um, that will give me time to do it, so I'm gonna do it later. Um, but anyway, so next, um, I will warn you, my room is a bit of a mess right now. I've got a whole pile of clothes right next to me um, <laughs> that need to be folded, um, and then I've got dirty clothes on the floor over there. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Haven't had time this week to clean. Um, but next on my list is I like to do a little bit of a little bit of working out um, in the morning. I quote because um, you know it's not like a like a workout workout, but it is like a you know stay somewhat in shape kind of workout. You know, don't be don't be lazy. Don't be don't be like you know um, whatever this means. <laughs> <laughs> finished working out and stretching and all of that. Um, next on my routine is um, reading. So like I'll be, um, I'll do my Bible reading for the day and then I'll also do um, reading other things um, whenever I have time for after I feel like I've really gotten, you know, what I want to get out of Bible reading. Um, I wish I had more time honestly to like dive into stuff but you know, um, I only got but so much time to do but so many things. Um, I actually wrote out a schedule of what my morning's gonna be. Like, I'm still figuring it out. It's the reason why I waited till now to do the more in-depth of my routine. Because like, you know, once I started getting up at five, I wasn't exactly sure what way I wanted to do everything that would work the best. Um, and I'm still not entirely sure, but I have a general idea now. Um, and so like, here's my schedule. Um, this is what I wrote out of my morning schedule. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working off of for today. Um, but yeah, 
so we're gonna hop on to reading now, um, which is also when I'm going to use this time to upload my video for the day. So, yep. All right, so uh, my reading time is concluded. Um, and moving on to the next thing. Um, one of the more difficult things of getting up with so much time in the morning is that it's kind of right about this time um, that I start to get tired. <laughs> You know, um, and I'm like, whoo, I could take a nap before work. That'd be nice. Um, which I did actually do <laughs> a couple times this week. Um, because there was a few rough days this week. But anyway, um, so, you know, that's slightly difficult. Gotta deal with that and just, like, press on through. Um, but I've concluded the reading time. Next on my list is, um, video watching. Which may sound, um, not very productive, but... Um, you know, obviously I make videos, um, I do these videos, I make vlogs, and I do other random videos, and I have plans to do more, um, different style videos in the future, and so, you know, um, if I want to be good at what I do, then I gotta invest into that, um, and one of the greatest ways to learn and get better is from people who have done it longer than you, you know, who see things differently than you. Perspective is everything in life, you know? And so one of the greatest ways to grow is to learn from others' perspectives um, because you will never know the things that they know until you learn the way that they view life, you know. Uh, and so you're able to start seeing things from a different point of view, which allows you to expand what you know and, and how you interact with things and how you do things. So um, I watch videos um, trying to pull from other people, you know, kind of like instructional videos and, you know, and then also just pulling, um, different styles from watching what they do. Like, you know, my vlogs, I pulled a lot of, you know, kind of the format of it. Um, obviously not identical, but a lot of the format of it from David Dobrik, because I really enjoy his vlogs. Um, you know, uh, and then I also pulled some of the, you know, style of what I do, or I kind of like, you know, some of the things that Casey Neistat does. Um, I enjoy his stuff. And then um, for more of the cinematography aspect and um, the personality and flow of it that I really like, um, of the more sit-down, kind of just doing stuff thing, um, I really enjoy Peter McKinnon. Um, he's really awesome. And so, you know, and then just any other random videos that pop up and I'm like, you know, type in something like how to vlog or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, this is the time that I do that so I can get better, so I can make better stuff for you, um, my awesome people out there. I love you all. Um, anyway, let's do it. All right, so uh, video watching has concluded. Uh, today I watched a Peter McKinnon video um, and really enjoyed that. That was really good. Um, but... You know, so, like, this is part of where I'm, like, you know, kind of still figuring things out because, you know, I only allot so much time for this, so I was only able to watch, like, that one video. Um, and I'd love to be putting in more than that. Um, but I also know that, you know, doing that, like, later in the day or whatever is just not really that likely to happen um, just because my days are so full of things most of the time. Um, so, you know, I may change up the way I do my routine to, you know, create room for like, you know, maybe a morning I do more reading than anything else and kind of cut everything back or, you know, more watching the videos and everything else and cut other things back. You know, we'll see. I'm still trying to figure things out. Um, but um, another, another, I was thinking about another person that I really, really, really enjoy and have gained a lot of um, um, very valuable um, advice and thoughts and learned a lot from would be Gary Vaynerchuk. Love that guy. Um, I do have to put a disclaimer on Gary and David um, Dobrik that, you know, I don't necessarily agree with the language um, at all. Um, and if that's something that really bothers you, um, a lot of cussing, then I suggest not um, watching them. <laughs> um, just because, you know, um, it's what they do. Um, but I have learned a lot from both of them and really, really, really enjoy their content. Um, so, you know, you just kind of get what you get. Um, but yeah, so that's it for, um, videoing time or watching videos time. Next thing on my list is, um, I'm gonna take about like, you know, a few minutes to just be still. 
um, and this is harder than it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I find something that is, uh, my arm's getting tired, um, I'm doing that all morning anyway, <laughs> um, I find something that is very important that, um, that's not normal, I feel like, is to take time to not be doing anything, you know, it's really easy, life is crazy busy, a lot of things going on, always running, always doing, you know, if you're not always doing, then, in your downtime, you're usually watching, or playing, or, you know, whatever, and, um, you know, our brains need time to just process, need time to just, to just be still, to just think, to just work things through, to not be, you know, doing something, um, and then also this is a very biblical thing, you know, um, where, you know, getting time apart, where you're just being still, and letting God speak to you, letting God work in you, and just being with him. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to do for the next few minutes. Um, so, yep, yep, yep. Well, here we are. We have made it um, to our normal place um, here at my desk with our controlled lighting, um, all the things um, where I usually do my, you know, um, this is getting out about with Micah video. Um, so we've made it through my morning routine. Um, this is what comes after my time of just being still. Um, we have kind of um, rolled on through. Um, we have like time left over, but you know, it's kind of purposeful. Um, I leave myself more time to do this than I need. Um, and I kind of like leave gaps in between because I hate being rushed. Um, and if I lay everything out in a way that's like, actually specific like this is the exact amount of time that I have then I know I'm going to end up being rushed and does not create a good morning which does not create a good day which does not create a good mic up so <laughs> so I like leaving myself extra time um I feel like it's very important but anyway yeah so that is my morning routine um hopefully uh you enjoyed it um this video is probably gonna be longer than I like it to be, but you know, it's what it is. Um, Got to give you all, you know, the full behind the scenes scoop. Um, I will real quick dive into what I um, got out of reading today. We are reading in Matthew chapter 24. And as far as the entirety of the chapter, um, I'm gonna be honest, and I don't necessarily understand all of it <laughs> in a way that I could like, you know, like dive into it and break it down or whatever. Um, so, you know, we all learn, we still growing out here, you know, you gotta be willing to admit when you don't know something. Um, but anyway, um, but what I do want to really pull out is right at the beginning, one of the things that Jesus talks about here, um, cause the whole thing is kind of like, you know, um, end time stuff and what's going to happen and, you know, which is cool in itself, you know, Jesus like telling the future. Um, but one of the things that really jumped out at me in the beginning is where he's talking about, um, that people are going to come claiming to be him, that there's going to be a lot of deceit and people are going to fall away um, for different ways of thinking and different ways of doing things um, that are going to come to try and shift our focus and convince us of, of something other than the truth of Jesus and his word. And so the thing that, you know, um, this really brings out to me is the importance of um, spending time with Jesus and spending time in the Word because the Word is our standard of truth, the Bible, you know, and as we remain built up in that, and as we know that, then when the false things come, we'll be able to spot them. But if we never build ourselves up in the Word and, you know, spend time in it and learn it, you know, and allow the Holy Spirit to bring it to life in us, then when the wrong thing comes and when the fake thing comes, then we're likely to fall for it, you know, and nobody, nobody wants to fall for the fake, you know, cause the fake brings no life. Um, but the way that we do it is we prepare before that comes, before the lie comes, we prepare by, um, knowing the truth as best as we possibly can. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this to begin with is to specifically set this time apart, um, that I can build myself up to when the attacks of life come, whether those attacks are spiritual, where I've built myself up, you know, in the Word and in time with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, I'm going to be able to handle those attacks, or those attacks are physical, where I've built myself up um, in a, you know, physical way of, of the stretching and the exercising and the walking um, and all those things. 
where the attacks um, are mental and emotional, where I've, you know, taken this time to, you know, invest in reading and, you know, doing things that I feel like benefit me mentally. Um, and then taking that time of being still is something that really helps with the, you know, mental stress um, that can come with life and the emotional things that can play on you. It allows you to work through that. Um, and so preparing myself for the inevitable attacks of life is one of the main points of, you know, doing this whole getting out of bed with Micah thing. So felt like that tied in really well with today, um, you know, but anyway, uh, so yeah, that is my morning. That is my routine. That is getting out of bed with Micah, um, behind the scenes tour, <laughs> all the things that you don't normally see. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that and that'll be it then. So thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember that you are important, that you are valuable, that you matter, that Jesus loves you, and so do I. And I'll see you next time. Toodaloo! Bye!